Hello and welcome to this Out of the Park baseball tutorial. Today I'm going to go over how to add, clone, and delete players from the game. This is something that I think everybody wants to try when they first find out that OTP is a great sandbox baseball experience. What would happen if I edited my friend into the game and gave him a 100 mile an hour fastball? Or if I deleted my most hated player on my team's rival? How well would they handle it? You can do all those things and it doesn't take a lot of time or effort. Um, you just gotta know where to look. So to help with that, the first place to go is under your manager. Go to your manager options. And within this, make sure that you have play in commissioner mode enabled. If you don't have this box checked, you won't be able to edit more than the most basic information about a player and you won't be able to add anyone. So this is an absolute necessity. This won't be possible if you've started a game in challenge mode. You'll have to start a new save in order to enable that. But once you have this enabled, that's just about the hardest part. You can then go to the transaction screen of your league and if you want to, for example, clone a player, you can right click and select clone right there. And you'll see that magically there are two of Stetson Alley. And you could you know, apply this across the board. If you want an entire rotation of Shohei Otani, you could make that happen by using that feature. Also, if you wanted to say delete a player like Let's say Nelson Cruz, you haven't forgiven him for not catching a fly ball in the ninth inning of a World Series game. You can search for him, open up his player profile, and under Actions, or by right-clicking his name, they'll have the same menu. You can select Delete Player, and Nelson Cruz is no longer in this save. And finally, if you want to go and add yourself or add a friend, you can go back to the players section of the transaction screen. And I'm going to go to MLB player list in this case. And under actions, you have create fictional player. And so with this, you could set up a catcher who is very young. And you could start building you know, sort of a base that it will, uh, you'll be able to start from. And once you do this, we'll do not eligible, create this. And I just created a random player in this case. But if I go in and search for one Nadal, great nickname already. And then go into the editor. I can then change anything I want. If I want to give him max potential, out of 250, I can, and just make him the greatest hitter of all time if he develops. I can also do any other sort of change. You've got hundreds of attributes that you can edit in here, uh, and you can play around with that to your heart's content. But in order to go into all of that, that would be a much, much longer video. But feel free to add your friends, family members, hated rivals, or delete all of the above. Uh, it's your save. You can do what you want to with it. Um, have a blast. And until the next tutorial, happy simming.